This is the meeting at which the host institution for the regions uh, gets to give a, a, a welcome to the institution to the regions. Sometimes we've done this as uh, PR videos. Sometimes we've done it as puff pieces. I, I want to talk this morning about uh, something a little more serious. I want to talk about the, the challenges and the successes of trying to do more with less. As you know, the University of Hawaii at Manoa is, in, in very, uh, is operating very close to the bone. One way we can talk about efficiency is in terms of all of the things that are being cut. But one can think about efficiency and think, I believe one should think about efficiency in other ways too. It's how much you are being able to do with what you have. So if I can make an analogy here, it's uh, you can go on a diet and you can weigh a little less and you can even function pretty efficiently at that weight. On the other hand, a way to lose weight is not to cut off your arm. So at the stage we are now, I think we are, we are tightening our belts. We are actually do, doing more with less in certain areas. On the other hand, we are very close to the bone. And as I'll mention a bit later, we are at a stage when I, where I think it makes sense to talk about deferred maintenance in academic programs, as well as deferred maintenance in, uh, in buildings and grounds. I have a canned speech and I'll give it. <laughs> Welcome to the campus that I've called home for almost 30 years. Hawaii deserves a great university. Manoa is a great university. The University of Hawaii system needs to have for its vitality a strong research university as its flagship. And Manoa is that university and we are fulfilling that function. The challenge is preserving our acknowledged excellence in so many areas of academics and research, pursuing our mission to serve the students and achieving all of this in a time of fiscal restraint. Brings to mind a quote by Teddy Roosevelt, it's only through labor and painful effort and grim energy and resolute courage that we move on to better things. Basically, our challenge is that we have less and we are trying to do the same amount or more. Uh, briefly, let me talk about the less. I think you are all aware of this. It means about $60 million in less in state government support for Manoa in the last few years, with tuition increases making up only about 30 million. That's the difference between minus 30 million and plus, minus 60 million and plus 30 million. We need to keep that in mind. We also face challenges result of because of uh, features of the collective bargaining agreement. We've had needs to use cash in the absence of, of state funding for capital improvements that have depleted our, our st uh, student tuition and fees uh, reserves. And we've had uh, electrical rate increases of a massive nature. All of these things together, the, the fall in the fall in state support, the only partial replacement of that with student uh, fee income, tuition and fee income, collective bargaining agreement, the use of, of uh, tuition and fee funds necessarily to, to fund uh, capital improvements and renovations, and the electric rate increases have put us very close to the bone. That was the less. But even despite that less, we have done more in several areas. Manoa is performing by all objective measures at a higher level than it ever has. In 2011, we received a 10-year accreditation period from WASC, the longest possible term of accreditation and the longest accreditation of any institution in the state. WASC praised Manoa's progress in glowing terms. We're proud to have a record number of graduates from about 4,500 in 2008-9 to approximately 5,000 in 2013-14. Our six-year graduation rate has risen from 48 to 
and our four-year graduation rate has increased over the past two years from 19 to 24.7 percent, a remarkable improvement. We have a ways to go, but in this case we are doing more even though we have less. We're very proud of our alumni and appreciative of their support. Of note, in October, one alumnus of the business school, Jay Scheidler, made an irrevocable commitment to the College of Business to increase his visionary gift to a total of $100 million. Mr. Scheidler said he made the allocation of the additional $69 million because he was so impressed by the transformations that were made by his initial gift. We're constantly improving our facilities. Witness the grand opening and blessing ceremony in November of our renovated Gartley Hall, which many of you were able to attend, uh, which will serve as the home for the Myron B. Thompson School of Social Work. We continue to make major strides in uh, sustainability with our energy efficiencies paying off. Since 2007, the campus has saved more than 9% of our uh, projected energy costs representing $3.4 million in energy savings in 2014 alone. Through our vice chancellors, we have instituted a rigorous budget and spending review, which you are aware of and which we will continue to report on uh, next at the next Regents meeting we plan to talk about some specifics of that effort. Our deans and directors have responded, a uh, responded responsibly Though, and here I must uh, echo some of the comments made by Dr. Butler, we are very close to the bone, and there are, uh, and, and deans and directors are having very difficult, a uh, great difficulty of uh, doing this. The directive, as you know, was to live within your budget. It is hard to live within your budget under the circumstances. In research, since the last time the board met here in July, we continue to garner international interest in our projects and our people. Researchers from UH Manoa and uh, NOAA announced the discovery of an intact ghost ship in 2,000 feet of water, nearly 20 miles off the coast of Oahu. Marketing professor Stephen Vargo was named one of the world's most influential scientific minds in 2014. Our Hawaii Space Ex Exploration Analog and Simulation, or High SCAS, Mesh Mesh High Seas, I'm sorry, Mission on Hawaii Island, led by Manoa and NASA, is preparing future astronauts for travel to Mars and back. I could go on and on. The list is very long. Finally, and most importantly, student success is always foremost on our minds. Returning to our mantra of doing more with less, our commitment to students is more, more, more. Today we have more financial aid, more opportunities for undergraduate research, and offer more internships and community service opportunities in advising and tutoring. Students are getting the classes they need with unsuccessful registration attempts falling, and we track this carefully, falling from 29,000 five years ago to 2,000 in 2,300 in fall of 2014. We would love to have time to show you um, more about the techniques we use to measure that, but, but notice that that is about, that is over a 90% decrease. We've done this by offering more classes and scheduling more intelligently. It has, as has been noted, expensive to do that. So once again, we are trying to do more and we are trying to do it uh, efficiently with what we have. But we are very near the bone. Students are taking more classes, shortening their graduation time, and lowering the cost of them to a student degree. We're especially proud that our native Hawaiian student enrollment has increased from 2005 to 2016, I'm sorry, 2014, by 64%. In closing, welcome to UH Manoa again. Not a new experience for you, but let me welcome you again to UH Manoa and leave you with another Teddy Roosevelt quote and a reminder that he organized the Rough Riders. Uh, he said, do what you can with what you have and where you are. And that is exactly what we're trying to do.
Thanks and welcome.